तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया पार्ट फाइव चैप्टर नंबर टू सब्जेक्ट फोर थ्री वन फोर वन नाइन जीरो सेवन सब्जेक्ट इज फंडामेंटल ऑफ मशीन डिजाइन न्यू सिलेबस फॉर जीटीयू सो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब सो लेट्स टेक द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट प्रूव द पैरल एक्सिस थियरम इन द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ एनी एरिया विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए नेट स्केच द वेटेज ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जामिनेशन इज थ्री मार्क्स so first of all the statement of parallel axis theorem so if the moment of inertia of a plane area about an axis through its center of gravity is denoted by ig then moment of inertia of the area about any other axis ab which is parallel to the first and at a distance h from the cg is given by iab is equal to ig plus ah square so mathematically you can say this is the statement of parallel axis theorem iab is equal to ig plus h square so now second part is the proof of this parallel axis theorem so let's take any one shape or here i have taken the circle and these are the centroidal axis xx and yy and so that this is the cg of the figure now if i want to find the moment of inertia about ab which is parallel to x x axis but at a distance at from the x x axis so here you can say iab means moment of inertia of the area about an axis ab ig is the moment of inertia of the area about the center of gravity a is the area of the section and h is the distance between center of gravity of the section and axis ab so now consider one strip pq that is parallel to xx axis as shown in figure so this is the elemental strip pq so i can give the name as pq and draw the hash pattern inside the elemental strip now i can say this is the cg of the elemental strip pq and the distance of the cg of the elemental strip pq from the x x axis is y so area of the strip pq is equal to da because of it is very small value so moment of inertia of the strip pq about ab so as you know that this is the second moment of area means area of the pq multiplied by distance and this distance is from the cg to ab and that is what from the figure you can see it is y plus h so i can say the moment of inertia of the strip pq about the ab axis is area into distance square area is da and distance from the ab is y plus h so moment of inertia of the entire lamina about the ab axis is the algebraic summation of this equation so i can say iab is equal to sigma of da in bracket h plus y whole square now open this bracket so sigma da as it is here it is h square plus y square plus 2hy and so that i can say iab is equal to now open this bracket so you can say sigma da into h square plus sigma da into y square plus sigma da into 2hy let's say this is equation number 1 So already we have written up to here equation number one. Now here this is sigma d a into h square. So you can say it is a into h square. So sigma d a that means algebraic summation of this small d a for entire area. So you can say it is area into h square. Now here as we have discussed that moment of inertia is area into distance square. So here you can say this is the elemental area d a. multiplied by distance y square with respect to x x axis and your x x axis is passing through cg of the entire lamina so you can say it is ig plus sigma d into 2h by as it is so here it is as it is and you can say here 2h is constant so sigma d into y and here this sigma d into y means it is a y bar so this is as it is and you can say 2h as it is and this is now your a y bar a y bar means what you can say it is a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 
वॉट एवर इट मे बी दी स्ट्रीप दैट यू हैव कंसिडर्ड सो दिस इज लेट से क्वेश्चन नंबर टू बट इन द फिगर यू कैन से वाई बार इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर वाई बार मीन्स द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दी जी टू द सेंट्रोड एलेक्सिस ऑफ द सेक्शन एंड हियर इट इज द सेम पॉइंट दैट्स वाई यू कैन से वाई बार इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड सो दैट मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ वाई बार विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस then you will get this whole term as zero so you can say from the equation number 2 ib is equal to ah square plus ig let's say it is equation number 3 and this equation is the parallel axis theorem so you can say hence it is proved and that you have to remember this equation for the numerical part so thanks my dear friends